Um, Alexis just did her first print, and she's come across uh, two different issues I want to address. Um, so she didn't have a really clear print down here in the corner. And sometimes that happens for two reasons. Number one, you didn't have enough ink from your brayer in that spot. Or number two, you didn't use enough pressure from the spoon. And so what I did is I looked at Alexis's print here and I can see the rest of it's like matte. The ink's been used, but it's a little bit more shiny right here. So the problem wasn't that she didn't have enough ink. The problem was that the spoon pressure wasn't enough there. Um, the next problem I want to address is uh, ink where you don't want it. So the forehead is catching ink here and Alexis doesn't want it. So what she can do is clean this up, go back with a carving tool and carve those spots out. However, that might continue to happen. If that continues to happen, here's the easiest fix. We're Again, we're using the Staples uh, masking tape. What you're going to do before your next print is do your best to wipe that out of there. Now this won't work perfectly because it's not cleaned correctly, but I'm trying to do it quickly for the video's sake. So you're going to clean that out. Then what you're going to do is use masking tape to cover that problem area. Then let's try this again. So in the last video I forgot to discuss um, the purpose of this small tube of ink here, which is ink retarder, and that again slows the drying process of our ink. So what you want to do, because this just sat here for a few minutes unused, it started to dry out. So I'm going to add some of this in here. Again, I go down, down, over, over, or up, up, over, over. So I'm going to, again, get the right amount of ink. Right now I have lines which means I have too much ink. If I have too much ink, I can do a couple things. I can take this brayer and use it kind of as a squeegee and push, push down really hard and let go and leave some of that extra ink at the top and hope I have the right amount. Or if I really messed up and got too much, I can take this to the corner of my scrap paper and just get rid of some of that ink and then fold that up. So once I have the correct amount of ink again, I can do another print here. Careful not to go in that line of extra ink there that I pushed to the side. So as I'm doing this, obviously that area that was a problem in the forehead is going to catch more ink. I've actually raised that surface a little bit by adding the masking tape. So what I'm going to do is after I'm done inking and I'm confident I have the right amount of ink everywhere for my print, I'm going to peel this off of here and then do my print. Again, I would move to a clean area workstation at my table so the next person could start printing. I want to very carefully make sure I don't get a bunch of dirty fingerprints on the edge of this. I set that down, slide it off the edge of my table, always keeping my other hand in contact with it. And then again, I would use the back of that spoon. And that should solve the problem of ink where you don't want it to be. Um, since Alexis is so kind to let me use hers as an example, I'm going to show them your original image, Alexis, that you've got in your hands there. Now, I did not work very hard with the spoon, so it might not be the most perfect print, but that's okay. But now the forehead doesn't have the extra lines in it like it did in the first print with the masking tape. So, test prints are also used for making edits, like I talked about in that last video. So, you can see the little um, spots that are um, Alexis's eyebrows here are a little bit smaller. Here, they're a little larger. So, she's going to probably edit those and make them carve them a little bit smaller. Those laugh lines could be a little bit thinner. But everything else looks pretty good. All right. Questions on that, guys? No. Okay. Thank you.